everybody it's me megs and i am back for a new video in this video i'm gonna show you guys how i got this wig super pin straight and all of that good stuff i absolutely love this wig y'all i wore this wig for my birthday so this was my birthday hair and i posted this picture on my instagram and you guys were like what hair is this we need to know so here it is this wig is from premier lace wigs and it is their yaki straight indian remy hair and this is a uh, yaki straight 360 lace wigs you guys okay this wig is so bomb and i feel like this is more on the affordable side this wig is 160 dollars so um what i did do i did wash and condition the hair the name of the products that i used on the hair is down in the description and i just let the hair air dry and this is how it air dried you guys it's somewhat straight there is a little bit of kind of like a not necessarily a waviness but you can tell that it's not straight straight like it should be so this is exactly how it dries so i feel like this hair is very low maintenance which is something that i tend to cater towards you know gear towards more because you know i don't like doing too much with my wigs i just want to slap it on and go so this is a 360 uh lace wig um and there is combs on the front half of the wig and in the back it is lace so you can bond the back down and wear it up in a ponytail there are four combs in here and there are adjustable straps um i don't really too much use the combs but the combs did work really well when i did wear this wig i've worn this wig so many times y'all so that's why the lace is already cut off um because i just love this wig so much so um the adjustable straps are here and i really like how tight the adjustable straps are i didn't feel like i needed a elastic band but you can sew one in there if you want to and this is the lace shawl i will say this has been my favorite company as far as lace wigs because the lace is absolutely seamless on my dark skin and the the knots are bleached already a lot of wigs that i've gotten the knots were not bleached and it just wasn't a seamless look because my skin is darker so the lace was literally undetectable when i was wearing this okay so i'm gonna flat iron this hair i feel like there's an art to flat ironing <laughs> i'm gonna use my holy grail kqc flat iron and my cure care silk and shine and I'm going to use a small tooth comb to flat iron the hair. I feel like that is very important if when you want to get a really sleek, you know, look. So I always section off my wigs. I always section off the front half first and work on the back first. And the quality of this hair is really nice. It's so, so soft. This wig was so soft coming out of the box before I even washed it and there was no weird smell. Um, I will say there is like light shedding the shedding isn't crazy when i was washing it i didn't experience anything like oh my goodness it's shedding 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 it was just like normal shedding like one to two hairs um while i was washing it and then of course when i was flat ironing i did notice a little bit more shedding because i'm manipulating in the hair so i section off each section and i'm going to spray um each section with the silk and seal and this just adds some extra luster and shine and it also helps with getting a nice flat iron so i do the um chase method using the um small tooth comb because that is so important y'all like that is my biggest pet peeve when i see people wearing like this over anything over 20 inches this wig is 22 inches and i don't like seeing the wig not be pinned straight and neat looking so this is exactly how i get that pin straight look so i do the chase method put the comb underneath the flat iron and make sure the flat iron is on the highest temperature that the hair can take the temperature i had this on was three uh, 460 and i flat iron each section in small sections to get that really pin straight no wave no crease look so i spray each section with the heat protectant make sure i comb through and with this hair, you can't spray too much product on it because it will get weighed down. I did notice that because it is a straighter texture hair already. And you don't really have to do too much to get it straight. But this is just what I've always done to get it to look how I want it to look. So I just take my time and um, go through each section like this. And you can see there's no bumps, no crinkles because I can't stand a crinkly wig, girl. I can't stand it. So this is how you get a nice, neat, sleek look. So I'm just going to keep doing the same thing until I'm done. 
and really take my time and go gently through the hair. Now, I would never do this to my real natural hair. That's why I love to wear a wig to get this kind of look. I will not be doing this to my natural hair. <laughs> not like this. Um, I will be flat ironing my natural hair in the future, but not to this capacity. Okay, I'll just throw a wig on. And this wig served its purpose and then some. I got so many compliments on this wig. My birthday and Grammy weekend here in LA. So it was super bomb. So, um, this hair is really, really soft, y'all. It was, like, really, really soft. And I really love that it's low maintenance, so you don't have to do much to it after you initially flat iron it, okay? So, I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Like so. And I only needed to do one pass. That was the beauty of this. And I tend to like to flat iron my wigs now on a wig head because it allows me to really see everything that needs to be flat ironed. And you get that nice sleek look as you can see here. It has so much body, so much shine. And so this is long for me. I'm only 4'11", so it's 22 inches, so it came around waist length on me. So that's why I chose to flat iron it on a wig head. So you can see it's really, really shiny and really, really pretty. Now, I did notice there are a few split ends with this hair. It's not too bad. I was able to, you know, flat iron and get it nice and smooth. But I will say I did notice a little bit of split splitting through there, as you can see. It's not bad, though, at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the front. I always do the front sides last. I work on the back first and make my way to the front. And as you can see, it's so, so pretty. And I feel like the quality of this hair is pretty nice for the price point being $160. This is not like a $400, $500 wig. And I noticed that this price point being $160, I feel like the quality is way better than some of the wigs that I had that were $400 and $500. And I'm being 100% honest, this is a really, really nice wig. Like better than some of the more expensive wigs that I have. So, but what I did notice with this is that there are a lot of flyaways and short pieces towards the top. It kind of reminds me, it looks like leave out. I mean, that could be a natural look. That could look natural or it could look not too natural. So what I'm going to do to control that is using Vonte Silk Control. And this is like a spritz. It's a soft hold spritz. Um, so I'm going to spray this on the top just to get rid of the, um, those flyaways to mold everything together. And I love using Vonte products on my wigs. It's so bomb. And I like to use Vonte products on my natural hair too. So I'm just going to spray that on, rub it in, and use my small tooth comb to kind of comb everything in. I really like that spray because it's not sticky and it's not hard. It's a um, moldable, combable spray. It's not like a hairspray that's like, oh, it's stuck in place. So to get the top super flat like I do, I'm just going to lightly tap the top of the lace with the flat iron so the other side of the flat iron is through there so I just take it through there and then it's like super flat I know I've got questions on how I get my wigs flat at the top that's how I do it now your wigs will be super duper flat if you braid your hair correctly so this is how the um, top looks so as you can see the flyaways are a little bit more um, you know blended as you can see, I actually did have to use a lot of the Vonte spray to kind of get everything to stay down and stick down. And I absolutely love the lace color, y'all. cannot emphasize that more, that this lace did me justice, okay? There was no flashback when I took pictures. So this, this wig did me did me right okay it really did me right now this lace is really nice and thin so you do have to make sure that you use the right color um wig cap i did later on have to take that wig cap off and put on a darker wig cap because you could see it through there so that's a good problem and a bad thing at the same time because you got to make sure you have on the right color wig cap so you can part this wig pretty much anywhere um, I chose to do a center part because it's just easier for me. Uh, later on, I will be doing a deep side part. But I wanted to do a center part. 
And so it looks really, really natural even without gluing it down. I'm only gonna glue the center of my hair and I'm gonna use the Graftobian Spirit Gum. I'm only gonna glue the lace, not my hair. So I'm gonna correct myself. So I use the Graftobian Spirit Gum and I use a little amount right in the middle. I'm not gonna bond my hair down. I'm not gonna bond the lace down. I don't know why I keep saying hair. I'm not gonna bond the lace down all the way around the perimeter because I don't do that unless I absolutely have to. So I'm only gonna, you know, bond down what you're gonna see, but you can glue down the whole perimeter. And as you can see, the lace just really blends into my skin because my skin is darker. So we have to be really, you know, careful with that and make sure it's not noticeable. And you don't want people to see be like what lace it is like that lace there so as you can see you just do that there like that just bond it down i use a, a old wig cap to kind of press down and mold down the lace to my skin because if you use your fingers it kind of gets sticky and it'll turn white so that's why i use a wig cap to press everything down so as you can see this wig is all one length you can leave it like that if you want to, but I'm not. I like to put a little bit of layers in the front. Um, I did a light layer in the front. I could have layered it more, but let's go ahead and get into layering the front with some scissors. Use cutting shears, y'all. Don't don't use house scissors where you wrap presents with. <laughs> use some shears because you get a different look, okay? So I just kind of open and close, open and close quickly to get that layer look towards the front now i could have cut off a little bit more but i didn't want to mess this hair up because i wanted to wear this as my birthday hair so i didn't want to do too much but later on i did cut more off of the front to give that really nice layered look just give it a more shape it looks a little bit more natural and this is pretty much it it has so much shine so much body it's so 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 pretty and I do feel like this is a great, great quality wig, okay, for the price point. Um, you will not be disappointed. I know I'm not because the, the lace blended well within my um, into my skin. I will say with the hairline, you might have to pluck that a little bit more if you want to wear it up. Um, you can bond the back down and you can wear it up in a ponytail, but this is mainly how I wear my wigs all the time. It's just a center part and I don't glue the sides down. I'll just put some bobby pins, but it's already a really nice hairline already. It's not thick or anything. You can get away with wearing this like this, but of course you can tweeze a little, a little bit more, but you can see how it blends so well with my skin. Like I don't have to do anything to it. Just bond it down if I want to. And you can put it up in a ponytail. So I really, 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 really like this wig. I really, really do. Um, this would be really pretty if you layered it and added some curls to it too. But I love how uh, how it looks straight. So, you know, that's my look that I like. It's just a straight center part. So um, that is about it, you guys. I do have a discount code if you want to check out Premier Lace Wigs for yourself. Um, that coupon code is MEGS and it's also in the description below for you to check out as well as all the additional stats and links to this wig if you want to check them out for yourself. But yeah, I love this hair for my birthday. It was a great look for me. And I want to say thank you guys for my birthday wishes. So as always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.